Hey, what's up world? Glad to see you guys back here once again. Now, I don't know about you, but usually when I buy a monitor is for one or two reasons. Either I'm buying a monitor just to do my work on, and I'm not really too worried about how super high the specs are as long as it works and people can see it at the working environment. That's a cool monitor for that. Or I want a gaming monitor. A gaming monitor that has all the crazy features on. I mean, it's got to have FreeSync, it's got to have G-Sync, super duper high, fast, 144 hertz refresh rate, you know, all that good stuff. Those are my buying choices. I don't know about you guys, but now it's kind of interesting because BenQ has come out with a monitor that's not really made for either one. It's kind of like in the middle area and it's totally geared for people who watch videos and watch movies. That's right. Now, I know some people are saying, oh, you know, I just go on my TV in the living room and watch on my big screen. And believe me, I, that was kind of like my, my first attitude as well. But when I started thinking about it, what about people, though, who are in college dorms or just in places where they don't have access to a giant TV screen, but still they love to enjoy all of their movies and content in the absolute best environment that they can do it. Well, that's where this brand new BenQ monitor comes in. Now this is the EW277HDR. Now the HDR, high dynamic range, you guys are probably familiar with this. It's a thing about how your color and your darkness and your contrast and all these things translate to the viewing that you're seeing. A lot of TV companies have incorporated this technology into them because let's just face it, it really does make kind of a difference in your TV viewing, especially if you like stuff to be very bright, very dark, and everything just to be like really over the top. I have to admit, I like the way this monitor looks. It's very clean and very elegant. Now, some of the basic specs, this is a 16 to nine aspect ratio monitor, features eight bit color, 27 inch screen. It's a VA panel, 1920 by 1080 maximum resolution. Featuring a 178 degree viewing angle, you can pretty much see the monitor no matter where you're standing, whether you're right in front of it or off to the side, it's pretty much going to look pretty clear. Now, as far as the refresh rates go, the refresh rate is at 60 hertz. Now, a lot of people may not notice this, but like I said, as a gamer, when I'm using a monitor, it has to be at least 144 hertz or I just get headaches. But for watching movies and stuff like this, 60 hertz won't matter whatsoever. Looking through the specs, we did discover that there were actually two different response times. There's a 12 millisecond response time, which is black, white, black, and there's also a four millisecond, which is gray to gray. One thing you guys are gonna notice right off the bat about this particular model is it has a very small bezel. It's almost not there at all. Honestly, I think it's probably one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. With that, you'd have to kind of redesign technology to make the monitor be able to stay there because let's just face it, that little bezel around the edge is probably what's helping holding your monitor in place. The stand itself is also very nice. And just looking at the monitor, you gotta admit, it does have kind of a nice little futuristic look to it. Now, what gets kind of strange is here on the back of the monitor. Monitor. You have a single D sub and then two HDMI 2.0 ports, and they really kind of say that you should use the cable that comes with that. I think what they're saying is that you might have an HDMI, you know, older cable that's not 2.0 standard, it might not work with the HDR. So that's why they're saying to use their cable. But if you do have an HDMI 2.0 cable, you can use that as well. Not everybody out there likes to listen to headphones all the time, nor do they have nice speakers. In that case, this particular monitor does have two two watt speakers built in. There's also a headphone jack that if you want to listen to your headphones, it's there and a line in jack from your computer to the monitor. One of the particular features of this monitor is an ultra high contrast ratio of 3000 to one. Now this is three times the normal that's on a standard monitor. And what this really translates to is that all your dark colors and all your light colors are just much more vibrant and much more defined. One of the reasons that a lot of the monitors out there may not be so great for watching TVs and movies on is because of their brightness. Not all monitors have great brightness and great separation. This particular model actually has 33% more brightness on it than standard monitors. Now, how this is achieved is the HDR technology. With HDR technology, you get 400 nits of brightness. That's really, really bright. Almost to the point we'd be going, ah! This next feature is something a little bit trippy. Now, this particular monitor features 100% of Rec. 709 or 93% of DCI P3. Now, what exactly this is, to me, what it means is that all the movies that are being made in America have a certain standard. Now, when you watch these movies, the color on these particular movies may not be accurate on other monitors, but on these particular monitors, like it said, 100% with the first technology and with DCI P3, it's 93%. So that really translates to all the movies that you're going to be watching, especially the ones that are made here in the United States. You're going to be able to get that color exactly how it was filmed. 
Most people out there know what G-Sync and FreeSync is. Now, this is the technology by both the big video card companies that makes your monitor flicker-free in gaming. You get no ghosting, no flickers, or anything like that. Now, even though this particular monitor doesn't have those type of features built in, it does feature flicker-free technology. It's when you're looking at your monitor, you're really not gonna see any flickering. So watching your movies, doing standard stuff, all that stuff, you're not gonna be able to notice anything and get no eye strain on your eyes. Now, as far as the tilt goes in this monitor, it is very, very minimal, only five to 15 degrees. So you're not gonna be able to move this thing all over the place. But do you really need to? Do you need a portrait monitor and all that stuff for something you're gonna be strictly watching TV and watching videos on? I don't really think so. Do you? Visually speaking, the monitor looks very, very nice. And with four different HDR settings, you can pretty much find one that actually suits your needs perfectly. So if you don't like it a certain color, you like it to look a little bit different, hey, all you have to do is switch through these four different HDR modes, and I'm sure you'll find something that'll suit your needs. And changing through the different modes is very easily done by a button located on the bottom right-hand side of the monitor. And located right underneath the HDR button is the on-screen menu. You can access all of the different buttons very easily right underneath the monitor, scroll through it, and set it up to your desire. Okay, so we played with this monitor for about a week, checked it out, and just got used to it being around the house. And some things I have to say about it are this. Obviously, the way the design is, like I said in the beginning, this is a very nicely designed monitor. And all of your movies and all that stuff do look really good. Even gaming looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it for gaming is, like I said before, it doesn't feature free sync or G-Sync. It doesn't really have a you know really fast refresh rate. It doesn't have fast response time, really. This monitor is like really geared for people who want to watch movies, and it really does that really well. The whole thing is, though, how many people really out there only want to monitor for watching movies that's the thing and with a 60 you know with 60 hertz as a refresh rate a lot of people are going to be like eh. so it's kind of got its own niche market plus the price on this monitor is like almost 300 bucks like 260 bucks right now and i honestly feel that that's just way too much money for the specs that you get in this particular monitor i mean there are monitors out there that even though they may not have you know the three times more contrast ratio the 33 percent more brightness than that you know dci 3p thing even though they don't have all those things built into them they'll still probably work for you and things will look really good i'm sure you could probably find a monitor out there for 140 dollars that even though it doesn't have all these same specs it'll still be a 27 inch monitor that you can look at at 60 hertz and do stuff so the price to me is the biggest biggest weight on this particular product if this product came into market at about 199 dollars you'd be seeing me with my thumbs up saying editor's choice you know but because it's not really a gaming monitor and it's so much money and such a niche market because how many people really are going to buy a monitor just to watch tv and videos on i know there's a group out there obviously there like i said before people are at home or you know the out to school and stuff like that they don't have access to all this stuff those people it'll be pretty cool but honestly how many people is that really going to be i mean honestly at the end of the day so as far as the specs go and everything in this monitor it looks absolutely beautiful great colors you don't see any kind of screen tearing or anything when you're watching movies and stuff and the ability to change through all those different hdr modes i mean if you're a movie buff and you really care about that stuff let's just face it you're like anal about the color then i would think that you'd be really really impressed this monitor and hard pressed to find one that'll actually play your movies with the same exact amount of clarity and detail so that's about it folks at the end of the day great specs high price like usual all this information will be down below that like button you know what to do and hey if you're not subscribed hey please subscribe and support the channel peace